Hi there. I am curious. How many pair of jeans do you have in your closet? How many of them do you actually wear? How many do you actually enjoy wearing? For me, that number is six. But really, there are only four different styles here. To give you some context, I am five feet one, hundred and three pounds, and usually wear the smallest bottom size. However, I have big thighs and big calves, and so I hate squeezing my legs into skinny jeans. So here are all the jeans that I love and wear in 2023. First up is Levi's High Loos. From experience, I know that the hip is quite tight in this style, so I sized up twice. And even though there's some waist gap, it's perfectly comfortable for my hip. They are hands down my most worn jeans. I actually don't like looking too formal, so having a pair of light blue jeans that I can wear anywhere is invaluable to me. I also got another pair in this style in a deeper blue color. This is the Wealth Red collection, where I believe the brand uses less water and replaces the leather patch with a cotton patch. Levi's hasn't had these on the website for quite some time, but you can still find them on the secondary market like Poshmark for a fraction of the retail price. A style that looks similar is the ribcage line in the white leg silhouette. I prefer the high loos because they are more relaxed around my hips and thighs. The ribcage jeans don't drape as effortlessly on me as they do on the model because on me, they look more slim fitting throughout the thighs. The next pair of jeans is a little bit trendy. I hopped on the pleated jeans trend earlier this spring and I felt like it only had a micro trend moment. Regardless, I like how they feel on me. They look like trousers and they are very comfortable. They were a little bit long so I hemmed them. My other complaint, they could use some steaming because the back pockets tend to bunch up after washing. Levi's balloon leg is a style that I discovered during the pandemic. Here I'm wearing my usual size so there is no waist gap. It is the shorter inseam 26 inch. Even though if I were to buy them now, I would have gone for the longer inseam. But I don't regret getting these second hand. They were a great deal. Also, the fall winter season is coming up and a pair of slightly cropped jeans is a great way to show off your Chelsea boots or even taller boots. I also get another pair in this style in a deeper blue color. I think this color in this silhouette looks very cool. I like to wear white socks with brown or black oxfords with these jeans. Other brands also sell something similar in this silhouette and they usually call them balloon leg, barrel jeans. Levi's no longer has this style on the website, but they have the similar style, the barrel jeans, with a more exaggerated curve through the hip. And it retails for about $200 because it's made in Japan. But you can probably find them on the secondary market as well. Speaking of a similar silhouette, the next pair of jeans is probably my favorite at the moment. Le Mer Twisted Belted Pants. They are known for having these very exaggerated curved out seam that give the jeans a very unique silhouette. They are a coat favorite and also the most expensive pair in my collection. But they are a gift from my very stylish partner. These jeans are meant to be worn full length, even so they are quite long on me, so by the time this video is up, they are at the tailors getting hemmed. But for now, because of the sturdy cotton construction, I cut them up twice and the cup stays up all day. These are all the jeans I'm wearing at the moment. I love the indigo hue of denims, so I don't consider white jeans or black jeans essentials to have. What are the jeans that work for you? Let me know.